Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to build a steam train using uh, Lego bricks. And as you can tell, this is 338 pieces. So it's the second largest uh, model I've ever done. And uh, it does take a while. Uh, I'd say half an hour if you follow this uh, instruction here, pretty much to the point. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it looks pretty good, I think. And uh, it actually works really well in uh, online races because again, as you can see, it's very heavy. So uh, no one's going to be able to really, you know, push you off the tracks. All right, so we're going to use the built-in uh, instructions here for this video here. And uh, it's, I don't think it's the best way of showing how to build these things here, but I'm just going to test it for this video here and then just let me know if you still prefer the brick by brick approach, which I usually do. I do like this uh, approach here because it shows you exactly which bricks you need and exactly which color you need as well. That's very handy. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess it's horses for courses, right? So uh, again, we are using uh, the same, uh, you know, template as we do for all the other trains, like the very simple one. And then we're just kind of building this frame around it to one kind of hide the uh, fact that this is not a train, it's actually a car. <laughs> and, uh, you know, secondly, also to make it big enough to get all the details that we want. Because uh, the length is, uh, I believe, around 30 studs, 27, I believe. Um, and the width is uh, 8 studs. So uh, that's, in my opinion, pretty much the minimum you need to be able to make enough details on your models. And it doesn't have to be trains either. It could be, you know, for it could be a Winnebago, for all I know. I mean. But uh, if you have smaller than that, like, they're going to be, you know, the usual Lego caricatures that we're used to seeing. But if you keep it up in this size, you will be able to add a little bit more of like realistic details and, you know, uh, stuff that at least looks like it actually works. I mean, this is not a Technic model at all. And uh, as you can see, I'm adding on the side kind of the pistons here. But uh, obviously, they don't work at all. They're not even connected to anything. They're just there to look good. And uh, that's a bit of a shame. I, w I wish that, uh, you know, the Technic version of uh, this game was a little bit more, uh, you know, mature but i understand that's also uh, a big ask especially for just like what is really a racing game so uh, we have a total of 30 steps here so if you follow the steps uh, you should be able to build this train exactly like the one i have here and of course you can you know modify it in any way you think is you know suitable really um sometimes i think the steps are a little bit weird here for example this one you only have to place two bricks and then the next one you have to place what's that like nearly 16 bricks i mean like, why, <laughs> why not just split it in two so you have you know like a more manageable amount for each step but um it seems to be like just the way the game is set up so uh, another example here you have one brick in the last step and then this step here you have uh what is that seven bricks and uh, you know more more than one of each brick so it's just that's why i don't really like this approach here but i guess it works and uh you know it's better than nothing so anyway, that's the final train here, and we're just going to take it out for a test drive. And like I said, it's actually quite nimble and fun to play. And, uh, you know, when you're racing against other people online, uh, you don't have to worry about getting nudged off the track or anything like that, because chances are you're much heavier than anyone else in the, in the that game. <laughs> so, uh, as, like I said, it's, it's really fun. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you out there.